Now, we all know that these types of ecology questions are not my forte. However, I've adapted these particular questions, which um, were from the November 2011 paper. And we've given a list of about nine different organisms, and we have to order them according to what phyla they are. First one is Philocinophyta, which is easy. F starts for fern, so therefore only fern is in there. Number two is Arthropoda. And the ones which are arthropoda, are, I think of them kind of like insects, but they have an exoskeleton on the outside, and they have a, um, a segmented appendages as well. So um, the spider, the crab, and the ant are all examples of arthropoda. Now the mollusca is a final one, and they contain a single foot, and in this case it's a snail. The second part of this question is construct a possible food chain using three of the organisms shown opposite, remembering that you need to state the trophic level to which they belong. So I'm going to start off by talking about this daisy, which is going to get eaten by a snail, and the snail is going to get preyed upon by a spider. Remember that the arrows need to be in the correct order. That will give you one mark. The second mark is where you state the trophic level to which each it belongs. And, you know, it's not too hard. The daisy starts with, is, a, is a producer or an autotroph, whereas the snail and spider are primary and secondary consumers, respectively. That will get you the second mark as long as you put that down. The final part is to state the initial energy source of your food chain. And it's a kind of a trick question because some people are tempted to say daisy, in my example, or the initial producer. But the thing is, where does the energy come from for the daisy? It's from sunlight, and that's the correct answer, sunlight.